Yo, what's up guys? So people have been asking me how the games look uh, in 4K on Xbox One S. So today I'm gonna show you some some gameplay footage, how the games look uh, in uh, 1080p and 4K. So let's start off with 180p and then we jump back to 4K. So people have asked me how the uh, how Call of Duty looks in in uh, 180p uh, and 4k so as you can see this is 180p Call of Duty Black Ops 3 So let me jump back to 4K. So this is in 4K. Um, I could have captured this with my capture card, but um, I can only capture 180p. So I had to do it with my camera, so you could see the 4K and 180p difference. Yeah. Do I notice anything? No, not so much. You know it. Um, what I notice is that in 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 uh, in some of the games uh, that I've been playing uh, a couple of days ago, um, is the the color of the of the of the game that looks much better, much cleaner, much sharper. Um, Black Ops Three, I haven't noticed anything so far. Uh, yeah, the colors look good. But uh, you know, people have 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 been asking if the frame drop or uh, will uh, will the game uh, look uh, look better on the Xbox One S? Uh, no, uh, that's uh, th those are the things that you won't notice. The frame the frame rate uh, will stay the same as it is on the original Xbox. Uh, they won't look much better than the original Xbox, but. Uh, yeah, for sure, 4K will uh, definitely makes uh, make things a bit uh, sharper, smoother, cleaner, and uh, yeah, you can also benefit from the 60 hertz. So yeah, that's Black Ops 3. Let's see what else I can show you. show you division people have also asked me about uh, the audio settings if there's anything new um well there is 5.1 5.1 7.1 out uh, stereo bitstream out uh, I think that's the same as the uh, original Xbox so nothing has been changed there.
I think uh, Forza 3 will look amazing uh, with HDR. Uh, I think that's the only big difference that we will see when uh, when the upcoming game supports HDR. Forza 3, uh, Gears of War 4, those two games uh, will definitely support 4K, uh, 4K and HDR. Uh, not 4K but HDR. So yeah, let's see. Um, the the 60 hertz, uh, you know, it makes it makes the screen much smoother. I don't know, but especially when I've uh, the the couple of last days uh, that I've been playing uh, FIFA 16, it it feels much. You know, I don't know it feels much faster that's what I noticed uh, in FIFA 16 man the vision takes so long mm, what else have been playing uh, I played some GTA yeah nothing much there a bit sharper but yeah, bit cleaner. Forza Horizon 2, the colors look good. Uh, I played some Rocket League. Uh, yeah, it was it was it was the same. Yeah, this is division in 4K. Let me switch back to 180p. Yeah, that's 180p division. I'm gonna switch back to 4K. Yeah, that's the vision. <clears throat> Let me see if I can show you another game. Mm, I've seen uh, y'all seen Halo Five in my other video. Um, well, yeah, I think that the the difference, you know, I I don't think you will you, you will not see that uh, from this footage. I think you have to be really uh, close like face to face with with the TV so you can so you can uh, see the difference but yeah I mean the games are not meant to be 4k so far so that makes sense that they don't look uh, that much better than the original Xbox so yeah that's that uh, yeah, keep asking uh, anything you want to know. I have uh, I try to answer them all. Uh, you know, people are asking me still. Uh, most most of them are the same question that I uh, have been answering. Um, so if you have any answer, make sure to watch the other videos because uh, I'm pretty sure that I have uh, answered most of the questions. Uh, 
so far uh, with overheating or uh, the temperature uh, it's still it's still exactly the same as uh, the day I got the Xbox and and it it doesn't get overheated or anything uh, no freezer so far uh, what else um, yeah so far it's been good I'm uh, pretty happy about it uh, it's quiet uh, also another thing uh, this Xbox One S uh, uses much less power than the original Xbox so yeah it's uh, it's a bit cheaper uh, people have been asking me if it uh, you know the original Xbox One uh, I think uses uh, 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 the, the power I think uh, of Xbox One uh, is, was was kind of the same as PC, but Microsoft did confirm that it uses less power, so that's a good thing. Um, they did a great job with that, and uh, the brick that is built in inside uh, of the Xbox One uh, is very uh, is uh, yeah very well done. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see anything else. Uh, people have asked me to show any uh, gameplay footage. Uh, I hope this helps, but I don't. I don't think you will see that difference. You have to be, you know, like I said, face to face to to see the difference. But uh, yeah, if you're still um, if you're still looking to 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 buy the new Xbox One S, and if you don't have any Xbox, uh, I will I will definitely tell you to get it because uh, the upcoming games, the Forces, the the Gears of Wars, uh, you know those games will be great. And even if you if you if you have a 4K TV, it's much it's you know makes the deal even better. But